Well, I finally got a chance to get my interior together on my 1970 Plymouth Roll Runner. And I was so excited about it because I did a couple extra things here that really brought out the interior. And I started with that dash. Now, a lot of people think this interior is very boring on the 70 Roll Runner, but it's just about the tension to detail. The more details you add, the more this interior comes to life. That stoplight red by testers, I use for that indicator light. Now these are the dials that came in the kit, and I'm using these white dials. This is the attention to detail I'm talking about. Small details like this, that will taste this interior to another level. Now I'm adding my DuraClear for my glass. Gonna let that sit up and dry, completely cure. Now I'm gonna be adding the black embossing powder for the carpet. And I picked up that embossing powder at Michael's. And this is my Mod Podge with a couple drops of water in there. It helps that Mod Podge dry slower. Gotta give it at least four hours to dry, but I let it dry overnight. Got my silver craft paint here. To add some silver trim to my seats. Now I looked at a lot of reference pictures for this interior. Everything is the OEM. That's the front seat, turned out great. And it's time to get some trim on the door panels. And I also took care of that driver's side door panel as well. Get our steering wheel together here. It's a simple steering wheel, but you gotta add that metal trim to it. Now I'm gonna be trying out the Gopher Racing seatbelt kit I picked up. Now I tried everything I could to get that seatbelt through those little tiny holes on the seatbelt buckles. Now this round, it didn't happen, but I did mess around with it after I got this interior together and lo and behold, I got it in there and I had to think about my grandmama when she would sit there and be sewing and threading that little eye on that needle. She had a little moisture to that thread and that's how she got it through there. And that's how I eventually got it through these seatbelt buckles, even though I didn't do it on this particular bill. And here are my results on the Gopher Racing Seatbelt Kit. Now here's one of the fun parts I like doing on the interior. Knocking off that embossing powder. You gotta get it all out of there. All out. 
Just smack the living daylights out of it. Outstanding. Take my tape off here. Uh, looks like the glue caught a little bit of the tape. Brush off that back seat and apply the same techniques that I applied to the front seats to the rear seats. Get some black trim on my rear view mirror. As you can see, I already got that pistol grip shifter painted up in that wood color. Now I'm painting the back of my mirror black. Take care of the shifter boot. Applying my pedals, my clutch. Door panels went on without a hitch. As I'm installing this front seat, you saw that I went ahead and took care of the back seat as well. Look how that dash turned out with that Dura Clear. It don't miss. Get our steering wheel installed. And I really like those dials and that white. Now I'm gonna look into getting dials with different colors. Some yellow dials some red dials, some blue dials. I think different color dials really make that dash pop. Install our shifter. And that's my interior. Who in the world said that Mopar interiors have to be boring? They don't. It just takes a little ingenuity a little creativity and you can really bring these Mopar interiors to life.